Buddy, this is Beetle Five. We're coming at you with another one of my reaction videos. I got with me the Ginger here. Hello. Everyone. And we will be reacting to Lucario versus Renamon Death Battle. Now another Digimon versus Pokemon fight. Digimon are going to win this fight. I'm so for Renamon. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't think this one has like the, a Pokemon trainer and a Digimon tamer. So I'm pretty sure it's just a Pokemon and Digimon fighting by themselves. Which oh, means, yeah, which cool. means that Renamon shouldn't be able to digivolve, and Lucario should not be able to mega evolve. Mm, mega evolve. Right. Yeah. So they're just gonna fight each other head on that way. But even, even with that, I still gotta go with Renamon on this one. Digimon have always just been proven to be more powerful than Pokemon are. Yeah. So unless you know they say Lucario's <laughs> yeah. stronger in some sense, and we don't know about. I mean, we know a good portion about Lucario, Smash Brothers, movie, everything. So we know Lucario. Yeah. All right. Let's start this sucker in three, two, one, go. I think this is a 3D fight too. Ooh. That'd be pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Monsters come in many shapes and sizes. <laughs> Monsters University. But the best ones know Kung Fu. Lucario, the steely canine from the world of Pokemon. And Renamon, the razor sharp and literally foxy Digimon. <laughs> For this match, we'll be analyzing oh, the species yeah. as they are. Yeah. Therefore, no trainers or tamers will be permitted, it, yeah. nor any moves or forms achieved unnaturally. Okay. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. Yeah, so I was right. No Digivolving and no Mega Evolution. analyze missions. their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a oh, death never mind. battle. <laughs> I guess it'll be digital. Pokemon are known for showing off crazy skills in battle, but not many can match the martial arts prowess of a Lucario. The Lucario is a fighting and steel type Pokemon well known for its fondness oh, of Oh, poor Snivy! <laughs> Standing at an average height of 3 feet and 11 inches, Lucario are usually found training high atop mountains, honing their fighting skills on a daily basis. Compared to other Pokemon, Lucario are very well-rounded offensive fighters, with high attack, great speed, and moderate defensive stats. Even though they tend to keep away from people, Lucario are actually extremely loyal to close friends. The movie and was really cool. Did you ever Some see Lucario so in the mystery yeah. review? They even yeah, figured out how to talk with their minds. Why did you abandon the queen? Telepathy. Wait, wouldn't it have to be a psychic type to nope. do that? No, it just has to star in its own movie. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that makes a lot of sense because with it, Lucia and Tay, so awesome many Pokemon looking, that aren't psychic talk. Big spikes so. there. Just because they're in the movie. Killer backhand. Oh god. I suppose that may improve a metal claw attack, one of the many techniques in Lucario's intimidating arsenal. My favorite is Bone Rush. It doesn't just sound cool, it's when Lucario literally creates bone shaped yeah, lot, laser weapons of out of thin air and then beats people down with them. Impressive, yes, though the wild Lucario's most powerful physical move is close combat. A full out offensive blitz at the expense of defense. And Lucario can use Dragon Pulse, aka it can shoot a giant energy beam from its mouth. It's like he's throwing up lasers. <laughs> While Lucario does have a variety of more useful moves, such as Heal Pulse, Sword Stance, and Extreme Speed, all of which many other Pokemon have as well. However, Lucario does possess a unique trait, the ability to sense and manipulate Aura. Aura, Aura is a spiritual energy described as the essence of every living thing. A Lucario can harness its own aura to create brand new attacks. Like Aura, aura Sphere, Sphere, a projectile yeah. so powerful it can destroy stone bridges. But Aura has many other uses. By sensing the aura of those nearby, Lucario can predict incoming attacks. Oh yeah, it's when they fought freaking all the Reggie Pokemon. In a literal Rock, out Reggie, Reggie Reggie Steel. I guess it's sort of like Key from Dragon Ball. Actually, this karate dog is really starting to remind me of someone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Lucario's power is no, something to behold. not even close. A to single Goku. aura sphere can even overcome attacks from legendary Pokemon. Physically, Lucario is strong enough to mangle the steel claws of a crane with a single smack. Talk about metal! Riley Lucario more, destroyed his own Pokeball. So fast oh my god! I should note that the fastest speed a human eye can perceive is approximately 9,000 miles per hour. And to top it off, Lucario can take a bunch of really bad blows back to back and still stand up. Hmm. It can survive falling dozens of feet or explosions powerful enough to obliterate whole rooftops. Hey, that's how I remodel too. A typical <laughs> Lucario can even survive some brutal beatings from fire-type Pokemon like Blaziken and Magmar. 
This is impressive for two reasons. It's One, weak against Magmar's steel. body temperature well, measures a ridiculous weak 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Jesus, it's like Smokey the Bear's worst nightmare. All this guy <laughs> needs to do is a touch a tree, and that whole forest is gone. But not Lucario, no sir. Its fur isn't even singed. Made even more impressive by my second reason. Lucario is weak to fire-type Pokemon. Well, Lucario is also weak to fighting types, and it is a fighting type, so does that mean it hurts itself? Uh, in a way, but nothing like that. It just Lucario means fighting weak on fighting. fighters, and yet often employ hyper-aggressive techniques, so they frequently overtax themselves in combat and even become confused when tracking too many auras. This Pokemon rarely backs down from a good fight, even when up against overwhelming odds. But that's what makes this kung fu puppy so friggin' badass. With an imposing arsenal and the fighting spirit to match, the Lucario are certainly frightening warriors. <laughs> Why'd you do that? You snuck up behind me. That is always a mistake. <laughs> nice. Alright, run him on! Now, I on never watched Digimon Tamer, so I'm not too familiar with how this one works. I only stopped watching after the second season. And monsters. How and far did you Digimon watch Digimon which inhabit that world, you are as respected up to Tamers? as the mighty no? Renamon. Yeah. Renamon, our okay. rookie Digimon, Maybe which like third means they're like digi I think it's the third one. So that recall. explains why they're always so moody. Compared to other rookie-level Digimon, Renamon possesses exceptional speed yeah, and attack crazy. stats She's, at it, the Renamon's expense a of fairly level, low defense. Level Renamon's appearance resembles that of a Japanese yokai called a the Kitsune, a uh, fox cool. spirit. These spirits are often that. described as being very mischievous, which is ironic given that the typical Renamon is very stoic and earnest. Plus, some of them really don't care for humanity, and just think of them as a tool for their own evolution. Digivolution. Whatever. Still, Renamon are super smart and always keep their cool. In fact, it may be too cool. I don't like the look in its eyes, Wiz. <laughs> it's like it thinks it's better than me. It is better than you, Boomstick. <laughs> Not only is Renamon rational and composed, it always showcases exceptional prowess in battle. Mainly relying on hand Oh shit, it fought a red ogre. More mode. like paw to paw combat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> that window. Several other dangerous <laughs> martial logo. arts skills. It can use its amazing speed to surprise attack its enemies with its Power swift strike. Paw, ghost flames. Then there's the super chop, which is an attack, even rapid kick, swift strike. Krianko, there's Diamond also Storm. rapid kick and spin kick. Hmm, Digimon may be effective fighters, but their attack names could sure use oh, a little Oh, beating up Agumon there. Don't worry, we're getting to the good ones. Renamon can enhance its attacks with an internal energy that makes ghost fire! <laughs> this is likely Renamon embracing its yokai inspiration, as it's similar to the folklore oh, of a Jesus. magical light emitted by Kitsune Tails which lead wanderers Oh, it's astray. like Nine Tails. Okay, but this one is used to destroy people. When a Renamon comes at you with a burning foot, it's using Power Paw, its strongest spell. Oh my god! <laughs> Some <laughs> Renamon can even create ghost clones of themselves for additional strikes. But Renamon isn't just kicks and punches. Its signature attack is called Diamond Storm, which summons a furious gust of wind and a terrifying amount of razor sharp diamonds. No, leaves. What? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Time, they try a creative name and it totally doesn't make any sense. Okay. Who comes up with this shit? It would certainly make more sense to use Pink diamonds, Panther. the hardest yeah. naturally occurring substance in the world. Uh, Wiz, why would you just throw away diamonds? If I were Renamon, I'd just scoop those puppies up and sell them to make bank. Do you know how many Bigfoot traps I could buy with that kind of money? I would definitely Wow, that's a killer that GTA mod. But don't <laughs> underestimate Renamon's Diamond Storm. It can shatter a wall of ice created by a champion level Digimon, which is a higher, stronger that, right, rank than Devimon? Renamon. The wall here that appears to be about white. 8 inches thick. Assuming this ice is comparable to blue ice, the strongest, most compact form ice can naturally take, this could support approximately 6,000 pounds per square inch before cracking. So, oh, wow. Diamond Storm is basically hundreds of tiny little leaves hitting you like a truck with a bunch of razor blades stuck to its front. <laughs> Pretty much. I just found my next truck upgrade. <laughs> on, some Renamon are also fast enough to effortlessly fool the human eye. Consistently reaching speeds oh, okay, over so my battle with Ice Devimon, that's what Pretty it is. Pretty damn fast for a fox. The Renamon who partnered Slice with a missile with an axe, like a time. boss. Ninja vanishing into thin air is like her preferred method can of getting around. Good, can make good bread, yes. Yeah, the Renamon too. is just as capable of taking big hits without concern. That includes surviving a strike from Harpymon's Windseeker, 
a powerful blade of air which can easily cut through concrete. Terrier mod! Oh my god, he's from the movie! I fucking love Terrier mod! Legs wearing opponents out, it doesn't really have any good tricks to help with defense. Oh. A sort of glass cannon fighting style, if you will, uh -oh. which seems to work glass well cannon. enough. Oh yeah, this is still one of the deadliest rookie level mons out there. All in all, Renamon is one stone cold fox. I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> oh come on, like Princess anyone's Bride. gonna sexualize a Digimon. Oh my god! Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, you'd be surprised though. There is so much hentai of this Digimon. In this world. A lot. All right, the combatants are I, I don't set. Know. Let's end uh, this debate once and for all. I still all. say Renamon. But first, all this talk of animals is like, well, I, uh, eat some. It's like Lucario can well, see you know, like the okay, future. Okay, oh, oh, no, Lucario cannot see into the future. Lucario can see your aura. Okay. All that all that means is that he like if he was say close his eyes, he could see your spirit and therefore fight with his eyes closed. Not that that really makes a difference whether he's fighting with his eyes open or not. But oh, yeah. Lucario is like. All around, in terms of speed, attack, defense. I think his defense is on the slightly low side, but they said before that Renamon might be a bit of a glass cannon. Yeah. But I feel like Renamon has more attacks to work with. Might be speedier than Lucario. Yeah. I feel like they're pretty evenly matched, but just because Digimon have been pr known to be stronger, just oh, e yeah. even, without, even without the bond of the trainer slash tamer, I feel like they're, they're naturally just born to be stronger. So yeah. I, I gotta go with Renamon on this one. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, alright. Because this is nuts. I don't think this is what we want to disagree on. <laughs> it's be a rotten one. Uh, Blue Apron. Just Even though I like Lucario. Yo, oh god, everyone everyone loves Lucario. Are you kidding me? He's a cool Pokemon. Heck yeah. Oh, the movie was so good. Yeah, no, no. He's a cool Pokemon. I, I, I like Lucario. I just always like Digimon better. And I just know yeah. Digimon are more powerful. Alright, let's do this shit. Okay. Right. Never played any of the Digimon games though. Only watch yeah. the shows. Play like hey, one or two. Who mm. are you? Yeah. Hey. You don't belong here. Leave or I'll make you leave. Okay then. <laughs> and now it doesn't talk. <laughs> Fuck! Whoa! Oh! Oh, there we go. Oh. Whoa! Aura Sphere. Oh, come on! Why would you just take that hit? Oh! Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Boom, baby. Diamond Storm! Bone Rush. Okay. Oh, that was, that was pretty slick. Whoa! That's his final smash from Brawl! <laughs> yeah. That was a good dodge. Oh shit. Don't bother getting up. Diamond Storm! Oh! 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 Oh my god, you know what we've completely forgotten? Are you kidding me? He takes more- he deals more damage the more damage he's taken, remember? Smash rules. Oh! oh! What the? F oh! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. That is bullshit. KO. Well, this that version is not... of Fox and the Hound ended no! up with a not so happy no! ending. No. Not without an extremely close battle, though. Lucario held a lot of advantages throughout the fight, but so did Renamon. While both combatants could move faster than Eyesight, Renamon did so far more consistently, whereas Lucario could only reach those speeds in short bursts. Aww. No big deal though, Lucario wasn't totally outpaced, so his aura let him sense and predict Renamon's moves to make up for the lower speed. Aww. Especially since Lucario's much Aww. wider arsenal helped it adapt as the fight went on, unlike Renamon's limited options. And while their durability was pretty similar, Lucario was the only one with self-healing and stat-boosting abilities. But most of all, Lucario was way more powerful. Lucario broke these metal claws with a bone rush attack. They were likely made of construction grade steel, which means in order to fracture it, Lucario must have hit with a force of at least 56,000 pounds per square inch. Uh, Comparing this to uh, Renamon's 6,000 PSI uh, for breaking an ice wall uh, paints a very clear difference. And as a glass cannon, it's unlikely Renamon could have dragged the fight out until Lucario fear. became overexerted. 
Ultimately, it was a well-matched battle, but Lucario's superior strength and arsenal gave a much-needed edge. Renamon got Lucario owned. The winner oh is Lucario. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Fuck, man. Hey, don't go away. We're about to oh, reveal the Digimon fighters for the next episode of Death Battle. Yeah, Want to see behind the scenes commentary no on this one? Then just click that mind. box and sign up for a first membership trial. Okay, who's there? Balrog from Street wow. Fighter. Versus TJ Combo from, I'm not sure. I don't know where he's from. I, I only know Balrog from Street Fighter. Yeah. My god, you couldn't think maybe that could have been, I don't know, a Little Mac fight? That would have been neat. Balrog oh, yeah. versus Little Mac. Alright, well, that was incredibly disappointing. I'm very unhappy Jeez. with that one. I'm not gonna lie. It was a big letdown. But whatever. <laughs> Death Battle don't lie. So, yeah. thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment if it else you react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.